Harmony did not always reign on our block. It was the only place in Auschwitz where Jews lived with non-Jewish prisoners of war. We came from multiple countries and we spoke different languages. Why do the Poles get to have care packages? Is that chocolate? I'd do anything for a letter from home. I'll write you a letter. Dear Hilda, you're gorgeous. If you don't marry me, I'll die. Love, Gustav. <laughs> <laughs> but the isolation did create a feeling of being in it together. Come, you must eat something. Oh no, I can't face one more turnip. She's burning up. See if she'll eat that. Look, Anita, I found a bit of potato. Oh, no, not your potatoes. Oh, please, that's too much. Shh. And do as you're told. <laughs> I know what we'll do. Let's write a letter to Marianne. Hilda, you're the copyist. Grab some paper, and I'll dictate a letter. Dear Marianne. Who's Marianne? Our older sister who lives in England. Greetings from Auschwitz, where camp life is grand. Yeah. Where we sun ourselves by the lake. Mm -hmm. Pastries are divine. <laughs> and we have classical concerts every morning and evening, featuring our own Anita on the cello. Did you get all that? Yes. Yes. <laughs> we often pause from our games and say, if only Marianne were here now. And then Anita imitates you. <laughs> Do you remember how you used to collapse in her bed with your cheeks crumpled with sleep? My, how'd we talk nonsense for hours. <laughs> we never knew how marvelous things were back then. Dearest, we never had the chance to tell you that on April 9th last year, Mama and Papa were ordered to report to a transport. Our poor dear lovely Moody was so frightened. And Papa looked to me and he said, I count on you, Anita. Rushing past and I can barely see 
seems like this fall will be the death of me Any second now the ground will come to take me Suddenly a peace that I cannot explain Seems like the wind is running through my veins Oh, and all that I can do is close my eyes as you lift me up You lift me up Love